Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Game Boy games on your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So for this video, we're going to be using the RetroArch emulator. Again, I'll be leaving links in the description down below. And this is going to be the free multi emulator we're going to be using on your PC today. So what you want to do is come here, download the current stable build and get it installed on your computer. Once it's installed and opened up, you will then be brought to this screen. And the first thing we're going to be doing is coming to the main menu here on the left. And we're going to be clicking the load core option right here. Once this is opened up, we'll see a list of all our currently downloaded cores. Although a little bit further in this menu, we'll see the option download a core. And that's what we're going to be selecting right now. From this point, we'll see a list of all all available cores that we can download on RetroArch. What we're going to be doing is scrolling all the way down until we see Nintendo dash Game Boy and slash color. So in this case, this emulator can play both Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. So in my case, I would recommend using Gear Boy. However, if you're having any troubles or issues, you can also try Gambet, Same Boy or TGB Dual. But in my case, in today's video, I'm going to be using Gear Boy. To install a core, you simply select it with your controller or click on it with your mouse. Some text will appear at the bottom and then your core will be installed. You'll know your core is successfully installed when you see this hashtag in the right corner. That means your core is ready to go. From this point, we can back out of here. We're then going to be clicking the load core option again, and we're going to be loading the core that we just downloaded by clicking A and selecting it. And you'll know your core is loaded once you see the name of the core on the bottom left down here, which is Gear Boy. From this point, we're ready to talk about games. And I will mention in today's video, I'm not going to be showing you where to download games, although games are really, really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out. And I actually have my ROM file right here for Link's Awakening in a .zip file. Now, thankfully, in RetroArch, we can actually run our games directly from a .zip file, so we don't necessarily need to extract this game out. However, if your game comes a dot seven zip or a dot rare format we will need to extract our games out now in my case i'm not going to be showing that full tutorial here i have multiple videos on my channel that i'll leave linked in the description now in our case what we're looking for for this emulator is dot gb files or dot game by files which is exactly what i've been given right here but as mentioned if your game comes in a dot zip it will most likely work directly from the zip however if you have it in a dot gb file it will also work in this case so once you have your games downloaded and extracted if it's needed what we're going to be doing is coming back to retroarch and we're actually going to load up our game to do this we're going to come back to the main menu We've already loaded our core previously, so we no longer have to do this. The next step is to load content. So if we select this, we then need to locate to where our game is currently downloaded. So I currently have my two games here in a .gb or a .zip file. In my case, I'm going to be using the .gb file in today's video. Once you select this, your ROM will start to load up right away, possibly in a separate window. You can scale and reset this window if you would like. So I'm going to be putting it the original size I had before, and it will keep the original aspect ratio of the original Game Boy. So you can see right now it is currently in the original Game Boy colors as well, which is nice to see in the original format, and everything will work just like that. Now, Game Boy games are super easy to run, so most computers will have no issues running this at full speed without any problems, and it works really easy. Now, I would recommend connecting an external controller up to this. I do have a previous video showing you how to do that on PC, which I'll leave a link in the description down below on a card on screen, as it will make your experience a lot better in my opinion. It's always nicer to use a real controller when playing something like this. Now the nice thing about this is we still have access to our menu up here in the top left, so we can still come to commands here. We have a bunch of different audio options, disk options, save state options, which is nice to see. We can reset, we can toggle the menu, pause toggle, and we can even take screenshots here. And we also have some extra window options, including window scale, toggle desktop menu and exclusive full screen which means you can play it directly in full screen inside retroarch these are all really nice to see here as well and if you would like to change the color palette like in the original game boy what you can do is come to command menu toggle we can then use our controller to come down here to options and we have a bunch of extra options for our game boy as well we can come down to palette and here we can choose sharp black and white so in this case i'm going to be sticking to the original however you have a bunch of other options here to play around with so feel free to experiment and set it up exactly how you like but it's really easy to do and it works pretty much out of the box anyway guys it's as easy as that to play game by games on your pc if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to be leaving a link down below to my paypal if you find these videos helpful and you want to support me anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace